In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a solid color background inside Premiere Pro. Let's dive in. So I'm working on this project here, and let's say at the end of my video, I wanna add a nice gradient background at the end here. To make a solid color background inside Premiere Pro, what you can do is navigate to the project panel and then click on the new item button at the bottom right, and then go to color mat. You can select your video settings. By default, it should be set up correctly to your sequence settings, but if you need to make any adjustments, feel free to make them and then click OK. Then select the color that you'd like to choose. In this case, I'm gonna do a nice blue color and then click OK and then you can name your color map. So I'm gonna name this blue and usually I like doing blue zero one and then click OK. This will make a new item inside your project panel. You can then click and drag this to your timeline. As you can see, we've added in our solid background color to our project. Now this is completely solid. So like, let's say if we click and drag this over our video clip, you can see that it completely covers it and you have options inside effects controls. Let's say if you wanted to blend it with the underlying clips, you can always dim it and you can make adjustments as needed here. But for now, I'm going to make this a hundred and then just put this at the end. Now I did want to mention, let's say if you just want to make a black video, that is a separate option there. So if we go back to our project panel and we go to the new item button, you can make what's called a black video. So if you click on this, same sequence settings, click OK. This will just make a pitch black video, essentially a black video clip that you can just add to your timeline. So this can be very helpful in a variety of different ways. I will leave a card linked in the top right if you wanna see how you can utilize this asset specifically inside video editing. But for now, let's focus on our solid background. Now, there's a few ways that you can stylize this. I recommend going and changing your workspace to color to bring up the color options. For starters, you can add a nice vignette to your solid background, and this will just create a little bit of depth to your scene here, kind of adding a darkness to your edges here. And you can play with the different settings as well to get it to your liking. Now, let's say if you wanted to make this as a gradient, what you can do is duplicate the effect inside effects controls. So if we go inside effects controls, I'm going to collapse this and I'm actually gonna rename this vignette. That way we have this labeled vignette. And then if we click on this and hit Command C and Command V to duplicate it, we can reset everything and just rename this gradient color and then click OK. And then from the Lumetri color panel, we can see from the dropdown that we are now on gradient color. Now to change the color of the solid background, you can go into the curves option and then scroll down and choose to change the value under hue versus hue. You can click and drag this slider to kind of get a different color here. So let's say if we choose a nice purple color and then back inside effects controls, what we can do is actually add a mask. So if we twirl down, we can choose to draw a mask by clicking on the free draw option here. We can click and make points inside our program monitor to make a mask. We'll close off that mask. And what we can do now is feather the edges by clicking and dragging on the mask feather option. And you can see we've added a nice gradient to our shot here. Now, one last thing, you can click and drag this Lumetri color effect above the vignette. That way the vignette is applied to both of the clips here. The way you can read this is that it's adding this effect first and then this effect. So that way the vignette is added to all the other effects and layers on top of it. Now, another thing you can do with solid colors is add transitions to it. So let's say if I wanted to transition between this clip and this clip, it acts as any other clip. So you can go into your effects panel, maybe add a wipe. It's one of my favorite transitions. You can click and drag in a wipe here, click on your transition, make some changes. I like going from the top left and changing the color to white or a visible color to see the wipe happen. And you can change the border width to 10. So as you can see, I've created this nice wipe transition to this gradient. And like we were talking about earlier, you can use the black video to fade out your clip. So if we click and drag out this black video, you can click on it, hit Command D to add the default transition, which should be a cross dissolve. And you can use it to fade out your clips. So this is a nice way to utilize those two features inside Premiere Pro. I hope this video was helpful. If you wanna learn more about Premiere Pro, there's several tutorials on my channel. I will leave one that you might like linked right up there. Feel free to go check that out. I also did want to mention that I launched a Discord server, so if you're looking for more support inside Premiere Pro or Adobe After Effects, you can feel free to join. It is linked down in the video description. It's completely free to join. I look forward to seeing you in there. But that does it for this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.